we came we came back sorry yeah. sorry sorry no, sorry, nothing. Sorry, nothing. <laughs> Come on, just keep it up. Continue, no biggie. Already. Um, good evening, good evening, and welcome, everyone. Welcome. So I can see that we have some people already here. Um, so hopefully you guys are doing great. It's nice to log in as per usual and see that you guys are practicing because that is the idea, you know, for us to make the yes. most out of this time. Um so for this evening, what are we going to do? Very simple. We're going to uh, finish the activity that we started yesterday when we were talking about the personality survey. Um, now we're going to get to explore a little bit more of the rest of the class, how they feel in some of these statements. Um, we're also going to be talking about gerunds a bit. It's not going to be too deep because I know that the topic has already been covered in other, uh, in other classes and other lessons. Um, but we are going to be talking about some specifics of uh, the area of gerunds. Um, we are also going to talk about us, you know, like um, analyzing ourselves and thinking what is different about me now and what I would like to do differently in a couple of years. You know, just thinking like probably in the last five years, what has changed in me? Like what is different uh, about myself? Uh, from me or from the old me of five years ago uh, and how I would like to evolve or to become better in five years like what areas of myself I would like to explore um, but just so that we have a, a smooth start of the class as I normally do I will start by asking you guys a question remember that that is something that I um, do almost all the time this is the first question, therefore, it's going to be relatively easy. I'm not going to go for anything um, too crazy. However, we are in an advanced level now, so some of the questions are probably going to be relatively tricky. But the first question is simple, and it's about you and how your day went today. But I want to know, what was an interesting moment of your day today? What was a highlight from your day today? You know, something that you remember that was maybe nice, amazing, or something sad. I don't know. Something that has happened today that you would like to share. A highlight from today. And I think I'm going to start by asking um, Sandra. I think you might have it clear. So, <laughs> tell me, Sandra, what is a highlight from today? Oh, a highlight for today was uh, with my husband, we went to... You Zulu town. Oh my God, the weather over there is so hot, you know. Oh, that's what I live with every day. That's my every day. <laughs> Do you live from here there? I live very, very close to Sulutan, yeah. So I, I I experienced the heat almost all the time. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> we yeah. came back so tired, you know. Okay, so yeah, that's a nice highlight from today. All right, yes. now let's hear from Amilcar. How about you, Amilcar? What will be a highlight from today? Something special that happened today in your life? I think we're still on mute, Amilcar. If we are speaking, we are on mute. Okay. Okay. Least, okay, okay. There we go. Uh, really, uh, I remember that... Uh, when I when I got uh, eight years, uh, I I tried to to fly to the United States. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So you wanted to become but, Superman so you could fly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but only only arrived at Guadalajara, and then uh. the immigration uh, uh, <laughs> sent you back. Me. I don't they know. Said, yes. Yeah, they, they sent um, back. to back me to Guatemala. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Things that happen. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, how about the case for Joaquin? What do you think Joaquin will be a highlight from to your day today? Something that happened today that is special or unique? In, in my case, in my case, teacher, um. The highlight um, in my day, about my days, um, was um, 
I'm trouble in, in the world. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we, uh, no, I talking about my, um, some case in the world, mm -hmm. but, but the, but the boss, uh, isn't agree with me. Oh, all right. So, yes. so there was issues, huh? Issues yes. in paradise, problems in paradise. Yes. Okay. Things that happen, you know, it's a highlight. So something that yes. happened today was a problem at your, at your job. All right. Um, okay. how about Janet? What do you think, Janet? What is a highlight that you can mention from today? Um, hi everyone. Hello. Um, today, uh, I I don't expect to be too busy as I did mm -hmm. uh, because I don't I have haven't had uh, many things in my in my A schedule. Schedule, yeah. But I have had many things to do, and usually I was so stressed when when it happens. But today I, I tried to be relaxed and all the things go went was very good. Okay, great. Okay, so uh, apart from the day becoming more busy than you expected or busier than you expected, you were able to handle it pretty nice, right? So that's what we get. Yeah. Okay, great. Very nice. How about uh, Alonso, Luis? Can we mention a highlight from today? Oh, wait, I think we're on mute. Yeah, we're on mute there. Excuse there me. There we go. No, it's OK. No problem. OK. Well, um, I mentioned uh, the meeting of the cattle, the cattle mains mm -hmm. in the area. It was very long. But the meeting was very interesting. And the participation was very interesting about training project uh -oh. in this area Okay. with respect to the branding and health of the cattle. Cattle, oh. Yes. Okay, so. And yesterday, <laughs> yesterday uh, the cow today in the morning don't uh, burn. It didn't get Nothing. burned? Not yes. yet? Okay, so Not we're yet. still expecting. Yes. Yeah, maybe tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe, okay, so let's keep waiting. Nos va a mandar okay. foto eh, cuando, cuando yes. nace. <laughs> of course. Okay, great. <laughs> yes. Very nice. Okay. okay, so keep us posted. Um, yes. How about the case for Lourdes? Tell me, Lourdes. We're talking in, in every class in the beginning, we have one question. And today the question is about one highlight from today, something special that happened today in your life. <laughs> it can be something good or something bad. No, no problem mm -hmm. with that. You know, just something that was different today. Uh, maybe, well, comparing to other days, um, in San Salvador, the traffic has been horrible mm -hmm. these last days. And we have been, well, I have been late all the week. <laughs> Some days, even 40 minutes, even one hour late. But today, it, it seems to be the same. But uh, fortunately, I found an a pretty good route <laughs> and I could make it on time oh cool nice so hopefully that route <laughs> is also going to be free tomorrow you know so you can use it again I hope <laughs> yeah let's hope so very nice that's very cool you know that's something cool that, that can happen so nice very nice highlight um how about Eduardo so tell me Eduardo how about you? Can you mention a highlight from today? Something special that happened today in your life? Ooh, we are on mute. We are on mute there. There we go. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Yeah, can you hear me now? Yes, 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 yes. Right. Um, well, today it was an average day well, like every single day, I did the, the same as I like usually do every every single day. But today it was a zoo. Believe me, it was a road day because I have a tight agenda in my work. I have a lot of stuff to do. Mm -hmm. But something different that I highlight, I can highlight today, it was my probably 
um, I went to visit one client uh, nearby to, to the airport. Mm -hmm. And I had the chance to, to eat my lunch in a different uh, restaurant and mm -hmm. was uh, a different food, different food. And well, uh, as I told you, it was a, a very, very hard day today. Mm -hmm. So uh, between my, my, my busy day today uh, and when I, when I had, when I had my lunch, so I had the chance to to share some stuff with my coworker. Mm -hmm. I think it was something that I can mention that it make the the difference. Of the, a difference of in the, the day. day. Mm -hmm. the day. Okay, so a change in pace, we will say. That's Very nice. Great. What is the name of the restaurant? If we can know it. Comalapa, I guess. Comalapa. Would you <laughs> recommend honest, it? I didn't remember it. Comalapa. Would you, would you recommend it? Absolutely, absolutely. It oh. was nice food. Very, very yummy food. Tasty, very tasty food. Okay, nice. Very good. Um, how about the case from Julia? Julia, tell me, Julia. What could be a highlight from today in your life? Well, in my case, it, uh, it was not a good highlight. Uh, I really enjoy taking pictures. Mm -hmm. And now I saw uh, a flower. And in the flower was a bee. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I it, it was like a flash. And I said, I had to take this picture. Mm -hmm. But at the time, uh, the wind blow. Oh, and the bee fly, flew, flew away. away. Yeah. yeah. So I couldn't take the picture. But the, the flower. Still cute. Was good. <laughs> yeah. 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 The flower is still cute. Yeah. All right. Very nice. Yeah, that is a very interesting point. Very good. Thank you for sharing that. I mean, it wasn't the best picture probably, but it is a nice um, story, you know, a nice highlight to have from today. All right. Uh, two more people we're going to hear from, and those two people are going to be, um, I think, Asdrual and um, Helen. So tell me, Asdrual, Chua, what is a highlight from your day today? Uh, good evening to everyone. Uh, to be honest, I it haven't ha happened any special in my in in today. Mm -hmm. I just take a break for the whole days and watching TV, and basically that I that be today. Okay, so the the special thing was maybe that you did something different from the rest of the days, you know. So. Very nice, very cool. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, great. How about you, Helen? What will be a highlight from your day today? Well, good evening. Good evening. And in my case, it really surprised me the fact that I today um I was late for my job. And even though I I left my house like really late, I arrived early. I didn't find like a lot of traffic, so that was really surprising for me. Okay, so basically the same as Lourdes, you know, or, or not yeah, the same, but in a of. similar manner. Yeah, in a similar manner, <laughs> yeah, you uh, left your house late, but arrived on time. So that's great. Okay, people, thank you very much for sharing. Tomorrow, as per usual, we're going to have a different question. And well, you're going to have a chance, you know, to express yourself, um, the ones who didn't have the chance today. But thank you anyway. Thank you for uh, participating. All right. So last night, if you remember, we were talking about this. Ah, que gala. <laughs> que gala. Y ya vino. Gracias, Lu. Ay, no. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Hello, once again. Bueno, les iba a decir, ya está Walter, ya sabía yo que ya se iba a estar riendo Walter. Les iba a decir, fíjense, es que yo no sé, yo, yo mismo me echo la sal, de verdad que yo mismo me echo la sal. Hace nada, hace qué. 10, 15 minutos. Estábamos hablando con un tío que estaba de visita, mi papá. 
Ah, pues entonces, y no sé cómo, me estaban preguntando por la clase, ¿verdad? Mi tío, pues él no, no conoce bien todo el proceso, mi papá sí. Entonces le digo, no, si a veces me toca que se va la luz, le digo yo, y ya me han captado de que, de que me quedo renegando yo cuando se va la luz. O sea, yo le digo, pero en estos días que, que no estamos en invierno, no, no pasa eso, le digo, no hay problema con la luz. <risa> bueno, pero igual, más vale que no se cortó tanto, o sea, a mí al menos no se me cortó la grabación, así que we are back again. Estábamos hablando entonces acerca de... Uh, Hola. Welcome back. Yeah, welcome back, you know, it is what it is. It's, it's, esto es Brasil, dijo Toreto. So, yeah. so we're back, we're back at what it is. Um, okay. Estaba a punto de salir corriendo porque mi teléfono no lo tengo aquí, lo tengo en el cuarto, entonces ya estaba a punto de correr a, a ponerlo, a conectarlo, pero nada. Si en lo que me iba a levantar regresó la desgraciada energía. Bueno, solo era para... Fue a propósito, solo desconecté el modem rapidito para que reciba una, una bienvenida apropiada. Nah. Okay, people. Um, so, as I was saying, we were talking about uh, personality surveys last night. And, well, we have 10 points. I'm actually going to number them. Nine points, nine points. I'm actually going to number them right now so that we can identify them a little bit better. And um, you guys don't have as many issues, you know, when trying to answer to them. So, um, I'm going to read them quickly, and then I'm going to start naming some of you, and uh, the same as we did last night, just try to identify yourself, if you feel agree or in, uh, in agreement or in disagreement with these uh, statements. The first one is, I'm not afraid of giving speeches in front of the class. I'm talking about a face-to-face -face class, as I mentioned yesterday, it's not a virtual one, it's uh, something a little bit harder. Um, So I enjoy going to parties where I don't know everyone. Maybe you are one of those, you know, who likes to get along with new people all the time. So that is you, probably. If you don't, well, maybe you're not going to agree to that. I avoid expressing my feelings and ideas in public. I insist on making my own decisions. This is, for example, when people like to um, push their ideas um, to the limits and try to, to some extent, Uh, in, impose those ideas in front of others, just, just, just to say something. Um, I don't mind giving up my time to help other people. That is totally me. I never worry about getting places on time. That is um, totally not me. I always feel like going dancing, hmm, not me all the time. I can't stand being in a messy or disorganized room. Well, that is... Uh, kind of uh, neither there. I prefer telling people how I feel, even if it's embarrassing. Okay, so last night I only got the chance to call, I think, five of you people. Now I want to hear from most of you, maybe not all, but most of you. And uh, I'm going to let you pick. So I'm going to let you pick whether you feel you strongly agree or strongly disagree with one of these statements. So I'm not going to read the statement. O sea, esta vez no voy a leer yo. Eh, la oración, sino que voy a llamarlos nada más y ustedes me dicen, ¿verdad? Leen el statement y luego me dicen, I'm strongly agree or strongly disagree with this statement. And if you want, you can add, you know, some extra just to clarify why you are agree and why not. Um, so we're going to start with Jose Luis. So tell me, Jose Luis, what will be one of the statements from this list that you would say that you are agree or in disagree with? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Confirm. Okay. Um, I um, admirate. Um, who, uh, okay. Uh, the number seven. I always feel like going to going dancing, and mm -hmm. personally, I I disagree because I. I don't like um, I like like to dance, and I think I'm very bad. All right, in that activity. Okay, so you know something that happens sometimes. All right. Um, how about Jancy? From these statements, Jancy, what would be something that you I strongly agree or strongly disagree with? Um, the number five for me. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Confirm. The number five for me is I strongly agree 
Mm -hmm. I don't mind giving up my time to help other per other people. Yes. Okay, very nice. My patient, yes. So you, okay, good. That is nice to know, you know, one of those people who are passionate about helping others and always there, you know, to um, give the helping hand. So that's nice. That's the people that we need in, in our world or in our surroundings, at least. Okay, how about um, Jacqueline? How about you, Jacqueline? What would be something that you strongly agree or strongly disagree with from these statements? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, so number five, too. Uh, I don't mind giving up time to help other people because I like to help people, teacher. Mm -hmm. and, and I strongly agree with this statement. point. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Statement. Yeah, same here, you know. It's like... Uh, yesterday, I remember somebody mentioning that one time, I think it was Eduardo, that one time he um, helped a woman to cross the street with, uh, you know, the, the groceries that she got and something like that. And I was just thinking that um, it was like two weeks ago or a week and a half ago, something like that. But I was at the supermarket and I was only getting, I don't remember. Oh yeah, only a lettuce. I was only getting a lettuce. That was all that I was getting, just the lettuce. Because in the market, they didn't have. So I, I had to get it from the supermarket. No vayan a creer que me la pico que no compro lechuga del mercado, que es que no había. So I was, I was just getting a lettuce. And it was only one item. And the people in front of me, they had two carts, two supermarket carts packed with things. And it was only one um line available so i had to wait for for them to pay for all their things and my sister told me ask them for permission you know you only have to pay that lettuce and i was like nah i don't like to do that but then they looked at me and they saw that i only had one lettuce and they let me go first and they, they told me like uh you can take our place and as as they did that i landed or i had to wait before one woman who was actually carrying a child. Um, so what I did was that I helped her to get her things on the um, on the cashier, you know, because she had her basket. So I helped her out because, I mean, I was like, the universe gave me this chance. So I'm going to pay back to the universe. You know, they allow me to go first. So I helped the woman with her things. And I was about to help her to take the things to the car, to her car. But then the woman who actually let me go first, um, she helped her out with taking the things um, to the car because they were friends. So it's, it's not because they um, uh, only for passion, maybe. But um, yeah, they were friends. But yeah, you know, those are the things that we have to do sometimes. If you are, you know, in the line with, a ver, quizás nosotros no, ¿verdad? Ellos creo que habían venido a Estados Unidos. Quizás nosotros no vamos a llenar dos carritos de comprados. Pero if you are in the line with a lot of things that you have to pay and someone is maybe just getting a bottle of water, just let them go first, you know? It's only going to take a, a while. Now, the only problem is that some people, they only show that bottle of water, but maybe then they're going to pay bills, they're going to pay credit cards, and that takes a long time. But, you know, it's the game. It's life. Now, how about Walter? How about you, Walter? Tell me, what will oh, be one of these statements that you God. will agree or um, disagree with? I um, strongly agree with the number eight. I can't stand being in a mess of disorgana or disorganized side room. <laughs> disorganized. Because, uh, need disorganized. Uh -huh. uh, because uh, a neat um, and tidy is the, mm -hmm. treat, is the treat to my personality. Mm. I hate to the disorganized and messy. Okay. I think that I am the culture every everything put in your in your place in every place. two years yeah mm -hmm. so do you practice feng shui no no i remember uh some culture and some books uh when i study uh, business administration mm -hmm. it's uh kaisen japanese do you know mm -hmm. yes I every have... time you use something you put, put again it back in yeah put it back in its place, place. Uh, yeah, yeah. My dad yeah. is the same. He, he, I mean, me and my friends, I mean, I, I think I told you guys that I work as an electrician as well. So with yeah. the people that I work with, um, we have this joke, you know, it's a running joke between us that mm -hmm. my dad, he says that when, I mean, in his shop, like in his garage, 
um, yeah. he's able to go at night, you know, in the total yeah. dark of the night, and he's able to get <laughs> any tool that he needs, and he knows Identify where the tool. So easy. Yeah, he knows where <laughs> where the tool is, and he can grab it in in the deepest dark uh, darkest of nights because he knows where he left it. So it's like, yeah. um, he uses something, he puts it back in the same place. Uh, yeah. And yeah, a veces nosotros nos reímos de ese tipo, en la noche, sí, ¿eh? <laughs> so yeah, it's, but it is a good it's culture, a bit, you know, it's a good practice. Yeah, uh, yeah a good quality, quality. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a really good practice because if you get yeah. used to, um, you know, storing things where they were, you're going to know where you left it. Y no van a ser yeah. como los demás que, ay, ¿dónde están las llaves? No son de la <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it happens to me all the time. Okay, yeah. Luis, how about you, Luis? Uh, what will be one of these statements that you consider that you will agree with? I consider I strongly agree in number one. I'm not afraid of giving speeches in front of the class. Yeah, all the times, uh, I, I don't consider uh, myself as a shy person mm -hmm. and I like to speeches. Mm. all right very good that is it's nice and it's, it's also great you know to build confidence and to like believe in yourself when you do speeches like you start getting more and more trust in your abilities um so yeah i think you know giving speeches is something very um, useful when you're trying to to build up that confidence um now moving on how about ailey what do you think ailey what will be something that um, do you agree or disagree with from these statements? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Um, the number seven, mm -hmm. because agree, because I like dancing. <laughs> okay, so you always feel like going dancing. Nice, very nice. Um, what is your favorite genre to, to dance to? Mm, all. all. I dancing all. <laughs> okay, very nice. Very, very nice. Good, good, good. Okay, how about um, Daniel? What do you think, Daniel? What will be one of these statements that you will say that you agree or strongly disagree with? Okay, good evening. Good evening. Um, number five, I don't mind giving up uh, my time to help other people. Right. Um, strongly agree. And I don't... I don't have any problem with helping other people. I mean, I love into that, doing that, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's like a part of my, my philosophy of life, helping other, without, helping other people um, without expecting anything for myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is the way of doing things. Eso es Spider-Man. Okay, very nice. <laughs> that, is, that is something very, very nice. You know, you, we have to give. And before we are thinking of what we're going to get, for what we're doing so nice very good um i think i'm missing a couple people let's hear from roberto maybe now roberto what will be one of these statements that you will say that you strongly agree or disagree with okay seems like we're not reaching roberto right now Okay, people, eh, en la siguiente actividad nos vamos a mover ya a la siguiente, que en esta otra sí vamos a participar básicamente todos, todos, ¿verdad? Primero vamos a hablar un poco acerca de los gerunds. Um, if you guys don't remember, well, gerunds are a special characteristic that English as a language has and Spanish doesn't, okay? So it is something that we don't know as a Spanish-speaking, um, as a Spanish-speaking community. And, uh, oh, okay, it's all right, no problem, Roberto, we understand. Okay, so as a Spanish-speaking community, we are not used to using gerunds. But people in English are very, very used to, um, well, you know, following the gerund way instead of following the infinitive way. Gerunds and infinitives play almost the same role. If we're going to use them interchangeably, in most of the occasions, we're not going to be making mistakes, at least not seen from a grammatical standpoint. But there are some special verbs or some special locations where a gerund is going to work much better than, a, um, um, than an infinitive or a regular verb. So what are those occasions and why do we use gerunds? Okay, so gerunds are used when you are going to mention two verbs that are 
basically together, okay? So one verb right after the other. That is one of the main uses. And when you use it like that, it means that you're going to use it as an adjective to some extent or as an adverb, you know, to describe something. In this case, we'll be describing um, the verb that you just mentioned because the main verb here will be something that you enjoy. But then this verb, it is also a verb, but it's in its general form because it is um, helping you change the meaning of the first verb into knowing what is that thing that you enjoy. Now, some of these specific verbs that are always going to um, be followed by a gerund are going to be enjoy, dislike, don't mind, and avoid. Those four are some of the main ones, okay? We have like 10, but the main four are those four. I enjoy, after you use I enjoy, you don't have to say, or it's not like well seen if you say, I enjoy to meet unusual people. It's better if it sounds so much better if you say, I enjoy meeting unusual people because the gerund form is going to work much better than um, using the, um, the infinitive form. Infinitive, if you guys remember, is when we use um, the part particle two and then we use the base form of the verb. So after you use enjoy, after you say dislike, after you say don't mind, or after you say avoid, you're going to have to use a gerund. The gerund, of course, is going to depend on the situation. For example, if you're talking about like a sports or maybe movies or hobbies, you can say, I enjoyed reading um, horror books, you know, or horror stories. That will be something specific to you. That is something that you enjoy doing as a hobby. Um, when you talk about something that you dislike, well, relatively simple. You say, I dislike, uh, and if it's a sport, well, I dislike watching um, polo. I have never even watched a polo match, but maybe. I don't know if I'm going to like it, but I, you can say that. I dislike watching polo. But the main thing is that after dislike, you have to use the gerund form of the verb. Um, if we go, for example, to don't mind, same rule applies to this, um, to this verb. I don't mind waiting for people. That is a nice example. And, uh, you know, when you use don't mind, you have to keep in mind that the verb after that, it has to be in its gerund form. Now, what happens to the rest of the verbs that can go either with an infinitive or a gerund? Well, it's very simple. You can pick whenever or uh, whichever suits you better at the moment. Now, one thing is that when we're talking from a grammatical standpoint, Gerunds can be repeated. Like you can use different gerunds in the same uh, sentence. You can use gerunds as a uh, as a verb, as the main verb. You can use gerunds, as I mentioned before, as an adjective or as an adverb. And you can also use gerunds as nouns. For example, ¿Cómo puede ser un ejemplo de esto? Si yo uso el gerund este, si, dancing. Si, dancing. A ver, who knows what is the meaning behind the word dancing? ¿Qué significa dancing? Uy, perdón. Bailando. No, dancing, dancing. Ajá. Move bailando. the body. Bailando. Oh, that would be... Move the body. Bailar. Ah, bailar o bailar. Bailar. Bailar, bailando. Bailar. Yeah. Ok. Entonces, ¿pero qué pasa si lo utilizamos, por ejemplo, eh, como un nombre? Sí. O sea, dancing. Exacto. Aquí va, por ejemplo, en este caso, sí, yo puedo decir, I eh, like dancing. Sí, me gusta yeah. bailar. I like dancing. Pero ¿qué pasa si yo utilizo dancing como un nombre? ¿Se puede hacer eso? ¿Puedo utilizar este verbo como un nombre? Si yo digo dancing yes. is yeah. good for your well, physique. Yeah. Or for your so body. Like, okay. like a subject. The subject mm -hmm. is dancing. Yeah. yeah. Exactamente. Sí. Porque aquí entonces, como este está en su forma de gerundio, <coughs> puede funcionar um, como un, ¿verdad? Como un sujeto o como un noun, vamos a decirlo mejor, para que suene mejor. Es que nos funciona como noun. Entonces, eso, eh, esa es una de las características que tienen los gerunds. Y por eso les digo, a veces es confuso el cómo vamos a interpretarlos en español. Porque si yo me quedo con que dancing significa bailando, nada más, eh, me voy a confundir después. Si en algún caso yo veo el ejemplo ¿verdad? que diga dancing is good for your health. Entonces voy a leerlo como en español. Bailando es bueno para tu salud. 
Y ahí voy a sonar, ya a sonar casi como niño de Estados Unidos que aprende español, ¿verdad? Y si se han fijado, a ustedes les pasa mucho eso a los niños. O sea, no sé si alguna vez han tenido la oportunidad, y no solo niños, sino también mayores que aprenden español. O sea, dicen, eh, me gusta bailando. Sí, ¿por qué? Porque uh -huh. ellos, o sea, es lo que, lo que han escuchado cuando están conjugando los verbos, ¿sí? Me gusta comiendo pupusas. O sea, es como que eh, son cosas que básicamente a raíz de lo que ellos escuchan, ¿verdad? Como se interpretan o se, se um, conjugan estos verbos. En español, ellos se quedan con eso. O sea, y es porque es la misma palabra. Para ellos, bailando funciona igual. O sea, en lugar de decir me gusta bailar, ¿sí? Que ya es la forma base del verbo. Entonces, eh, ¿sí? Pero uh, also en este caso, we can use it like a noun. And, and, and we can translate it as el baile is good, es, es bueno para la salud, right? Exactamente. Yes, 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 yes. Eso es lo que iba a mencionar también. O sea, que no solo lo podemos interpretar, we can not only like translate it in its base form as a verb in Spanish, but we can also use it as a full on noun. Like, for yes. example, um, driving is a uh, tedious. Mm -hmm. Something like that. It's a tedious activity. In El Salvador. Yeah. Yeah. Driving is a tedious activity. So, um, it means that manejar, sí, es una actividad tediosa. O el manejo, Man, manejar, sí, oh. el manejo es una actividad tediosa. Entonces, eh, podemos ahí interpretarlo de las dos diferentes formas. Claro, eso va a depender de el momento, el contexto en el que nos encontremos y la explicación quizá que querramos dar, ¿verdad? But that is the, that is the thing. If you hear people from uh, an English-speaking country saying things like those that I just mentioned, like, I enjoy, oh, perdón, en español, um, me gusta corriendo en la carretera en la mañana. It's because they are used to using gerunds. And they can just say running on the road in the morning and it's okay. They don't, they don't have to think about the structure and running works for them. And if they learn that running is translated into Spanish as corriendo, they're going to think that it can be used anytime. Okay. So, entonces, por si alguna vez ustedes lo habían pensado, o pues, se habían fijado en eso, el por qué tan a menudo las personas, ¿verdad? Que aprenden en español, eh, dicen las cosas así, tan, o sea, seguido, que dicen corriendo, comiendo, que no sé qué, es por eso por los gerundios, ¿sí? Porque están muy, muy acostumbrados a utilizar los gerundios y los gerundios se pueden poner en cualquier lado de la oración y tienen sentido. Eh, depende de cómo ustedes también lo vayan a interpretar. Ok, so, uh, now in this case, here we have four examples of things that, or, or verbs that can be followed either by a gerund or by an infinitive form of the verb. And those examples are like, love, hate, and can't stand. These are mostly to describe feelings. Uh, for example, enjoy, dislike is, is a feeling, something that we um, have as, as humans. And uh, it, they are also used to express preference. Now, the reasons why is because these verbs are more commonly used. Okay? That is the main reason why. You use more often like, love, hate, and can't stand then you use enjoy, dislike, don't mind, and avoid. Okay, these words are not words that you're going to use all the time. And this ones, I mean, if you're going to like draw a line and say this is the rule and you have to follow this rule, um, it will be very strict, right? And it should apply to every single verb. But because of, well, all of the communities around the world who learn English as a second language, they decided to change this because many people, many, many people are used to saying, I like to go. I mean, even me, sometimes I find myself feeling more comfortable with the infinitive form than the gerund form. And the reason why is what I just explained a, a while ago. You know, the fact that we don't have gerunds in Spanish. Therefore, when we use gerunds, we feel like, uh, is that okay? I mean, is it okay if I say it like this? So they uh, decided, you know, as, 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 like the grammaticians in English decided to allow this structure to be um, used with the infinitive form as well. So that is basically for convenience, for convenience of those who speak English as a second language. As we are very used to using these particles like to before the verbs, um, they said, you know, these are the most commonly used verbs. So why not allow it, right? 
And that is also the reason why you see here that the gerund comes before the infinitive. The infinitive is just like an add-on, just like a, a decision that they made just to help us not sound um, too foolish when we speak in English. So yeah, that is uh, the reason why you have some of these verbs that can be used with both of uh, the different forms. And now, a gerund is often the object of a preposition. So interest in meeting, you can also use it as uh, the object of a preposition. The object, of course, of a, rep of a preposition is what receives um, the, the action performed by the preposition. In this case, it will be, I am interested in meeting unusual people. Uh, we're following the same line as here. I enjoy meeting unusual people, but here we are more like describing um, something deeper, like a hobby that we may have. Okay. So moving on now to the activity that I was mentioning previously is how have you changed? Now think about yourself, okay? Think about yourself and now we're going to do, um, well, a description of ourselves from a while ago. You can go as back as five years ago or you can go as back as maybe last year. It will be cheating because last year was used a month ago, but if you have changed in that month, you know, you can describe it. So what we're going to use to describe the ways in which we have changed are going to be these simple options. You can get as creative as you want. You know, I'm not going to tell you, you have to say these lines. You can use any line that makes you feel comfortable. But if you feel like this can help you, you can say something like, I used to be, and then, you know, mention what you used to do. For example, in my case, um, I used to cut my hair very, very, very low. Okay, that's something that I used to do. I used to have my hair almost as Walter. You know, he cuts, I, I can tell that he cuts his hair very low. So I used to cut my hair like that. But now I prefer to grow it more on top and cut it um, lower on the sides. Okay, so that's something that has, has changed about me in the last uh, five years. Back in the day, uh, when I first started dating my girlfriend, um, she, I remember that she told she told me one time that I looked like Daddy Yankee, because that's how low I used to I used to I used to, yeah, that's how I used to look. If you if you if you guys were able to take a look at my high school picture, you know the picture that we all have from high school, I look like Daddy Yankee, honestly. <laughs> Because I, 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 el bling bling. El, el sí, bling bling. Me sí. I was the big boss, you know. Yeah. So um, now, I'm more, or something like you can say, for example, is I'm more, and um, in my case, it will be I'm more open to speaking to people now. And uh, I enjoy, well, doing different things, like probably going to places where I can get to meet new people, to political events, to church meetings, or things like those. All right, and then describing how you would like to change. This is describing how you have changed, okay? Eso es para describir cosas que han cambiado en mí en los últimos uh, años o meses. And then describing how I would like to change is something like I'm interested in, something that I want to start doing. In my case, is I'm interested in air conditioning and that's something that i'm uh, supposed to start learning from this next sunday on or something that i would like to do is uh, maybe i'd like to be more um what rich <laughs> i'd like to be more <laughs> yeah so i like to be richer um but that's something that I, I would like to change from myself in the future okay now Let's see, vamos a ver, esta vez lo vamos a hacer de forma voluntaria, no les voy a estar llamando, así que piensen, piensen qué cosas de ustedes han cambiado, sí, un aspecto, no vamos a hablar de todo, pero un aspecto de ustedes que ha cambiado en los últimos cinco años, últimos tres, últimos dos años, y algo que les gustaría cambiar a futuro. Sí, si gustan pueden utilizar estos ejemplos, si no, pueden utilizar su propia forma, ¿verdad?, de explicar cómo ustedes han cambiado y cómo les gustaría cambiar. Ok, Janet. Only one, only one, teacher. If we can, because I would like oh, to okay. have, um, you know, as many people participate as possible. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Janet? Okay, um, I used to be very shy, but now I'm a bit more outgoing. All right. Um, I'm too much happy now uh, because I enjoy the food uh, without worries. All right, very good. 
And how about um, things you would like to change? Yeah. I'm in, in, interested um, in reading and I'd like to be more applied do it, doing, doing okay. it. Okay, so you're interested in reading and you would like to be more uh, applied into reading. Very nice, good. Yeah. Okay, who's next? Me, teacher. All right, Walter, give it okay. your best. Um, I used to I used to go out with my friends more when I was a single than now that I'm married. Okay, you know. Yeah, happened eh, only my wife. Que no lo escuche, que no lo escuche, apártese. <laughs> Uy, mira la chancla. <laughs> Agáchense. Okay. All right. How about... Um, mm -hmm. uh, another. Um, I like to be more confident when I express myself in English, for example. It is that I like to change. In the future. Yeah. All right. Very nice. Very, yeah. very good. Okay. Who will be next? Yeah, it's no, ya esta noche, yo sé, pero no dejen que se escuchen tanto los grillos. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Sandra, right. okay, uh, me. Okay. that's me. Okay. Go. Me. All right. Um, well, hold on, hold on a second. Something's wrong with my computer. Hold on, please. Sorry. It's all right. Okay. Well, describing <clears throat> uh, when when I started learning English, I used to be shy, but now um, I'm learning more. And I'm not afraid to make mistakes. Oh, very nice. Uh, I'm I'm more proactive, and I'm enjoyed to be <clears throat> consistent in learning English. I'm interested. I'm interested in learning English and <clears throat> and get fluency. I like to be more proactive, and and one day to 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 <clears throat> to be able to. To accomplish the TOEFL test. Oh, okay. Very good. Very, very good. Yeah, the TOEFL is a really tough test that many people have to take in their life. So, all right. Very nice. Okay. Um, anyone else who would like Great to teacher. share? Okay, go, uh, Luis. Um, I used to be a football player. But now I am retired. Okay. Okay. And I am interested in producing more milk because the cow are producing, no? Okay. And I would like to be more efficient in production oh, with my cow. Nice. Very, okay. very good ideas for the future. Did you ever okay. play in, in Primera División? Uh, sometime in Alianza. Alianza. Oh. Yeah, it's uh, more um, 19, 1972. Okay, 1972. Yeah. I'm going to ask my girlfriend. She used to be an Albo fan. No, no creo que sepa. <laughs> <laughs> no creo que sepa. Tiene dos años, un año menos que a mí, así que, pero igual. Uh. <laughs> But, uh, it's a, a short time. Yeah, it was it was just a while ago. Yes. So yeah. Yes. Okay. Um. Anyone else? Me. Okay, Sandra. Okay. Give it your best. Well, I I used to be a little bit shy, but now I'm more expressive. Now I enjoy speaking with people, no matter if it is a boy, a teenager, or I am, or I am, or an old man. You know. Okay. Um. Uh, I am interested in helping people to learn another language, and I like to be younger. <laughs> All right, very good. I cannot picture you as a shy person. I have to be honest. <laughs> I cannot. I don't have, I you know, the brain strength to picture you as a shy person. <laughs> I wasn't. Yeah, but I was. Just, really I was shy. Too. <laughs> 
<laughs> I've been with you. Okay. So, anyone else, guys? Anyone else who would like to share Me? how they? Okay. Jancy, go. Give it your best shot. I used to dye. Okay. I used to dye my hair, my hair. Mm -hmm. But now I no longer do it. I am more convinced. 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 Uh, convinced that this is better for my health. Okay. Good. Yeah. And how about something about the future? Something that you will be interested in doing in, in a while? In a while? In a while. O sea, en un, en, un, en un tiempo. Algo que le gustaría hacer ya en el futuro cercano, en el futuro lejano. Uh, okay. I, I like to... I'm interested to teach English. Oh, <laughs> I like wow. to teach. Very yes. good. Very good. Muy bien. Muy, muy bien. That is a nice thing. Voy a quedar sin trabajo. Me too, teacher. I like to yeah. teach English. Okay. Mañana. For the future. Para mañana preparar una clase. No, just kidding. Okay. It's the best way in order to learn another, in, another language. Yeah, you know, yes. I, yeah, I, I would push to yeah. learn Italian. I'll be like, yeah, get out of the way. I, I, invent, I invent my own language, okay? Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. That would be cool, actually. The other day, I forgot the name. I saw the name of a new language that people are coming up with. And it's a name, uh, it's a language, sorry, that mixes uh, parts of Spanish, English, French, and Italian. Um, I actually forgot what the name was. But it's a very interesting idea, you know, because it mixes all of the parts, like grammar, vocabulary, and everything. And it's only like one single romantic um, language because we're all, you know, part of that of that family, right? Um, so yeah, there's it's, it's like a project that people from Spain and Italy actually started, and uh, it sounds funny. Just to say something, it sounds funny at the time. Uh, yeah, kind of like a Spanglish, but the Spanglish will be something like lo que yo do sometimes. Sí, eso, a ir cambiando entre uno y otro. Pero ese otro es, es como que más que todo toman parte del italiano, una gran parte del italiano y el español, porque bueno, el italiano es la, ra la raíz, ¿verdad? Eh, o parte de la raíz de, de, de los idiomas que nosotros hablamos, pero sí es bien interesante. Uh, ok, moving on. Anyone else who would like to share? Hey, teacher. Okay. Okay. Uh, I used to be uh, late uh, at work, but now that my wife uh, were with me, uh, we had to be early at work. Okay. Yeah. And how about something you would like to change in the future? Um, in the future? Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't know, it's sure. Okay, so no plans for changing in the future. That's okay, no problem. All right, uh, who else would like to share? Maybe Joaquin, you have been very quiet, Joaquin. Yes, um, in my case, teacher, I, when I was a child, I used to be uh, introvert, but, but now I'm very expressive. Mm -hmm. um, Describing how you how I like to change and I am interested to meeting strange people. <laughs> I right. like to I like to be more friendly. Very good, very good. That is something nice, you know, because when you expand your ideas of like getting to know more people, um you will, of course, broaden your opportunities because as, yes. as you know more people, you're going to have more contacts and, you know, access to, to more experiences. So, yeah, I think that's something that we all should um, actually thrive for. Acabo de decir una palabra que no sé si ustedes conocen y se les voy a mandar esta, thrive. Thrive for. Que es el intentar, ¿verdad? Llegar a algo, thrive for. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thrive. Thrive. All right. Um, what, what does it mean? Thrive. Thrive es como cuando nosotros estamos eh, intentando hacer algo o también se puede utilizar en el contexto de cuando logramos algo, ¿verdad? Thrive es como llegar al, al triunfo de algo. 
Sí, thrive. Okay, um, how about the case for Jacqueline? What would be something that you can describe as uh, a change in the last couple of years and something that you would like to change in the future? Okay, teacher. Uh, a, couple, a couple of months ago, I used to cry a lot. But now I don't. I try to cry only if it's necessary. Okay. Yes, teacher. It's a process. Yeah. And in the future, I interest in learn cosmetology and nails. Nails, yes. And okay, cosmetology, and also become a professional um, nailer. I think that's the name they give yes, now. Teacher. Yeah, nailer, <laughs> something like that. All right, very good. Okay, anyone else who would like to um to share with us? You know the change that you guys have had in the last couple of years and how you would like to change from this point on? Maybe, um, Danielle? Danielle? Danielle. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, I used to be more friendly and, and outgoing, mm -hmm. but now I'm very reserved because I prefer to enjoy my peace. And if I had to change, if I had to change something in my life, um, I like going to another country. Okay, very good. Moving or visiting? Sorry. Moving uh, or moving or visiting to another country? No, moving, moving, moving. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so that makes two of us. Because, yeah, we like to move as well. Even to Guatemala. I mean, as, as far as I'm, I'm just outside of here. You know, because, yeah, that's just something that, um, I don't know, just a, a dream of mine to have a time to live abroad. All right. Uh, how about you, Lourdes? What would be something that you can share that has changed in your life in the last couple of years and something that you would like to change or something you would like to evolve in the, in the coming years? Uh, well, I used to be uh, a very insecure person. I'm still kind of shy, <laughs> I'm introvert, but I used to be more um, like I didn't express my when I was angry or, or annoyed. But now I'm more um, willing to do it and I'm working on that to express my feelings, to express um, when I'm not agree with something. Um, I like in the future, I like to be more active because I need to exercise more. <laughs> okay. Very That's good. something small I would like to change. Okay, very, very nice. Um, Switzerland. Switzerland is a dream place. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. This is a, 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 a private message that Sandra sent me. And uh, yeah, she says that uh, she would like to move to Switzerland. So Switzerland is a, it's a really nice place, you know, to, to move to. But it's very expensive, they say. Of course it is. Yeah, they say it is very, very expensive. But that's where I would like to have my honeymoon. So my best friend is going to have to to work Good. very hard because she said that she's going to pay my for my honeymoon. So yeah, she has to work very hard. All right, uh, a couple more people. How about you, Asdrubal? What will be something that you can describe that has changed your life in the last couple of years and something you would like to um, to become better into? Uh, in my case, in the past, I used to be anti-social area because I don't like to uh, make him friends, something like that. But now I'm more confidence and I like to talk with new new people and that's why I'm enjoy making new friends yeah mm -hmm. and in the future I'm interested in travel to uh, to another countries especially uh, US because I would like to improve my English level and uh, I would like to be more productive because now uh, I think that I'm not productive at okay. all. Very good. Yeah, yeah, that's, you know, we always have to look for ways to um, to accomplish what we want or what we dream as, as people. All right. And yeah. the last from the night is going to come from Catherine. 
how about you, Catherine? What would be something that you will describe as a change in your last couple of years and something you would like to improve in uh, going into the future? Hello. Hello there. Okay. Um, I used to be a disorganized person like five years ago, but now I'm trying to be more organized with my time and schedule and everything that I do on my daily basis. And I'm interested in to uh, learn another language, maybe French. That's what I want to do. All right. Very good. Um, so I have been in, on that boat for quite a while. I've actually been on the boat of uh, being into learning Italian for almost three years now. Um, the mm -hmm. only things that I have learned are bad words. But yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> something is something. Okay, people. Well, thank you guys very much. Once again, the hour has flown by really quickly, but still, we have to keep on pushing. We have to keep on practicing. Tomorrow is a new day, and I hope I'll have you guys all here um, to continue practicing. So thank you very much. Have a really good night, and see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye, everyone. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.